Good morning, friends. I hope that you are all well. Today is Thursday, and it's the Thursday before Easter, and in the church we call the Thursday before Easter Monday Thursday. Today we're going to listen in to a special story, and guess what the story is about? Stinky feet. That's right, stinky feet. Let's listen in. The Servant King. It was Passover, the time when God's people remembered how God had rescued them from being slaves in Egypt. Every year, they killed a lamb and ate it. The lamb died instead of us, they would say. But this Passover, God was getting ready for an even greater rescue. Jesus and his friends were having the Passover meal together in an upstairs room. But Jesus' friends were arguing. What about? <laughs> they were arguing about stinky feet. Stinky feet? Yes, that's right. Stinky feet. Now, the thing about feet back then was that people didn't wear shoes. They only wore sandals, which might not sound unusual, except that the streets in those days were dirty. And I don't mean just dusty dirty. I mean really stinky dirty, with all those cows and horses everywhere. Oh, you can imagine the stuff on the street that ended up on their feet. So anyway, someone had to wash away the dirt. But it was a dreadful job. Who on earth would ever dream of volunteering to do it? Only the lowliest servant. I am not the servant, Peter said. Nor am I, said Matthew. Quietly, Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, picked up a basin of water, <gasps> knelt down, and started to wash his friend's feet. You can't, Peter said. He didn't understand about Jesus being the servant king. If you don't let me wash away the dirt, Peter, Jesus said, you can't be close to me. Jesus knew that what people needed most was to be clean on the inside. All the dirt on their feet was nothing compared to the sin inside their hearts. Then wash me, Lord, Peter said, tears filling his eyes. All of me. One by one, Jesus washed everyone's feet. I am doing this because I love you. Jesus explained. Do this for each other. Now, one of Jesus' friends had made a bad plan. No one else knew what the bad plan was. But Jesus knew, and so did Judas. Judas was going to help the leaders capture Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Go on, Judas. Jesus said. And Judas got up from the meal, left the room, and walked out into the night. What a great story. Tomorrow is Friday, and tomorrow we'll hear more about what happened with Judas and with the other disciples. But for today, what an amazing story. An amazing story about Jesus. Jesus, who is God's son, who washed his disciples' feet as a sign that he loved them, all the way down to their stinky feet. And he tells us that we should love one another too. So let's try so very, very hard to do that. Let's say we pray together. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love us all the way from the tippity top of our heads down to our stinky feet. You love every single bit of us and we are so thankful. Help us to love others as you have loved us. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, tomorrow 
We'll see each other again and we'll hear a little bit more about the story of Jesus. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.